Thank you very much for give, giving me a chance to come here. And uh, I'm anyway very glad uh, to do joint uh, how do I say, uh, project with KIAS. And uh, really uh, many participants we have. And uh, anyway, our sixth project is also will be very successful, I think. So thank you very much anyway. And uh, my talk today is very, very concrete one. Until uh, my talk, almost all talks are very, very abstract, but my talk is very concrete. And uh, the subject is the following. We consider confi configurations of rational curves. And this is, anyway, a joint work with uh, uh, Shigeki Kondo. And uh, anyway, my subject is always in positive characteristic. And uh, we, first we consider algebraic variety defined over K. K is anyway field, and uh, maybe positive characteristic. And uh, we consider the following uh, two families of disjoint rational curves. So, of disjoint rational curve. A and B. And uh, uh, the number of rational curves here, we denote it by V. Sorry. This is, we put V. And the number of rational curves which in, contained in B, we denote it by B. And uh, my, uh, my assumption is uh, each curve, curve uh, in A, it intersects K rational curves, K rational curve, curves in B. Oh. And also, and the number B does not depend on uh, the member of A. So this is depend on uh, the cu curve in A. Constant number. So this K here is number? Eh? This K here is number. Number. Uh, ah, we are, we are it. Intersect. Ah, K is number. <laughs> K rational numbers. This is number. Ah, I already use K. Yeah. You mean? How should I do? Then I write L. And uh, also, uh, each curve curve in B intersects uh, all rational curves in A. The situation is like that. We consider such systems. And uh, we call this uh, a system, we, we call such a system uh, v, VL, VR configurations. On X, of course on X. These are on X. We consider such. Then uh, one easy observation is uh, 
D mark. So anyway, if you take uh, one curve in A, then do this uh, in A, then uh, anyway, L rational curve intersect in B like this, and uh, uh, conversely, if you take B, then there exists uh, R rational curve in B. Uh, A. Do you have same kind of independence of the second intersection? Yeah? Do you have the same kind of independence in the choice of C and B? Eh, ちょっと私 C and B の中の C は、あの、そうですね。それも C によらない。<笑> does not depend on C. This also does not depend on curve in B, like this. Of course. And、uh, so, anyway, considering the number of intersection number, and、uh, they intersect transversally. I, I didn't write, but all curves will be intersect transversally. Intersection is intersect transversally. Like this. And anyway, counting the number of intersection number, we have easily, we, we have equation VL is equal to VR. This is the number of intersection. So, and so we consider anyway, Such config configurations. And、uh, if, if the number of rational curves in A and B are equal to each other, I mean, if V is equal to B, then <coughs>、uh, by this equation, it is easy to see, as you see, L is equal to R. Yeah. At one point. At one point. And also, this one is also the same. So the situation is anything like that. And uh, uh, so, if、uh, V is e equal to B, then、uh, L is equal to R. And so, In case v,、uh, if V is equal to B, then the、uh, how do I say, configuration is called symmetric. It's called the, the configuration is called symmetric. And uh, uh, such, uh, such system is called、uh, V. v Uh, L configuration. Like、this. Then, in this case, anyway, if you take one curve in A, then、uh, B,、uh, L curves in B will intersect here, and conversely, if you take curve B here, then uh, uh, L curve. Of A will intersect this, this curve. The situation is like that. So I'll show you easy examples. First, example one. Very easy. So let FQ be a finite field with Q element, and we consider a projective space surface over FQ. Then, of course,、uh, it is easy to calculate the number of FQ rational points. So, Q square plus Q plus one uh, uh, point, rational points over FQ. And also, <coughs>、uh, if you count the number of、uh, line which is defined over FQ, then Q square plus Q plus one lines. Over FQ. The situation is like this. So, if you blow up this point, blow up, 
these points, then you get the, uh, two uh, families of curves. Uh, anyway, you, you get family A, and from here you get family B. So you will get, the, and uh, if you take one point, then uh, P, plus, uh, P plus one, a Q is, I assume, like this. Then P plus one, ah, no, 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 Q, I, I need not. Q plus one uh, line pass through one point, like this, Q plus one. So by blowing up, uh, Q plus one curves will intersect line uh, of B. Also, Q plus one curve will intersect uh, uh, line here of A. So we get Q square plus Q plus one, Q plus one configuration by this method. And one more example. This is one example, easiest one. And the second example is example two. So we consider, uh, average, we assume characteristic is not equal to two. We consider abelian service. And then it has inversion. So, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. She, she is, first we, we, I need to start curve she. She is uh, curve of genus two, non-singular curve. Curve of genus two. And uh, we consider Jacobian variety of this. And then uh, you can put this curve in Jacobian variety, which is symmetric, like this. T this gives theta divisor, of course. And here, yota is inversion. Inversion. And then, considering trans uh, translation of this divisor, uh, you get the theta A. A is two torsion. Uh, tr uh, this is translation. Translation by A. JC, two torsion point. Then you get 16 genus two curves here. And consider a quotient by uh, Yota, then uh, you consider the image of this here, TA, and uh, of course this has uh, 16 rational double, double points, double points. So blowing up this, you will get, the, you will get Kuma variety, like this. And considering, uh, first you take uh, uh, 16 rational, uh, exceptional curves. This is 16 exceptional, exceptional curves. And uh, you get, you consider trans, uh, TA tilde is proper transform of T. transform of T, TA, then you have two s systems of rational curves, and these curves, as is well known, uh, make 16, 6 configuration. This is very classical result you get. We consider such type of thing uh, in K3 surface, on K3 surface of positive characteristic, like this, from now on. How would I say? And then we go to a super singular K3 surface uh, with, uh, in characteristic two. 
So first, we record some result on super singular K3 surface. Anyway, K is algebraically closed field. And the characteristic is positive. P is positive. Like this. And uh, we consider K3 surface defined over K. And uh, we denote by SX the Picard lattice. This is equal to neuron severity group because this is K3 surface. This is Picard lattice. And uh, then uh, we denote the rank of this by rho x. Then, as is well known, this rank is greater than or equal to 1 and smaller than or equal to 20 or 22. And, uh, of course, in, in characteristic 0, this bound holds, but uh, in positive char characteristic, we have such. And uh, in this case, we call super singular super singular K3 surface. We have two notions of super singular super singularity in uh, for K3 surface, uh, but, but in that sense, this is called precisely, it is called super singular in the sense of Shioda, but uh, today I don't use the notion of super singularity by arching, so we call this super singular K3 surface. And uh, in this case, so we cost, uh, assume so x is super singular K3. And uh, we consider the dual of this lattice. Home, like this. And uh, then, uh, uh, the Picard lattice is naturally included in this, of course. Then the quotient is isomorphic to Z over P over Z sigma times, and uh, uh, two, two times sigma. And this sigma is called arching invariant. of x, and uh, uh, sigma is equal to uh, 1, uh, is greater than or equal to 1, and less than or equal to 10. The situation is like that. And uh, anyway, in characteristic 2, we consider uh, main, main subject today is super singular K3 surface. Uh, with arch invariant one and uh, in, in characteristic two and three. Two and three. Such uh, such K3 surface has a rich structure, so we examine that. And to examine this, we need to consider the Picard lattice and uh, Picard lattice. For this, we take the following lattice to one five, uh, 25, like this. Then this, uh, this is even unimodular lattice. Unimodular lattice. And the signature is equal to 125. This is unique, anyway. And then, this one is decomposed in the following form. This is u plus lambda here. And uh, <coughs> u is hyperbolic lattice. This is isomorphic to, so z two times. And uh, 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 hyperbolic lattice, so in a, how do I say? <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, 
So, <laughs> inner product is given by this. And uh, uh, to get this form, we have a standard base, FG a standard base, basis. And this means self-intersection is zero, and FG is equal to one. So this form. And uh, lambda is a beach lattice. Lambda is Leach lattice. So this this means uh, even unimodular unimodular lattice and uh, uh, negative definite and moreover no uh, element. Uh, of self, in, uh, intersection, self intersection is minus two. So mi no minus two curve, uh, to vectors. Such vector we consider. Then, using this notation, uh, L is isomorphic to lam uh, like this. And uh, we fix a uh, notation uh, for x here. Ah, no, no. I should write like this. And for x here, this is lit, uh, written as m, m times f plus n times g plus lambda. And lambda is element of lambda. And mg are integer. And so by this, by this, uh, we identify by this uh, uh, expression. We, ident we can identify like this. So this go to m n lambda, and the inner product is written is two times m n plus lambda square like this. This is a four, and we take one special vector which is called while vector, this row is one, zero, zero, like this. And then, <coughs> we consider, consider the following domain, I mean uh, PRO is equal to x, this is uh, L tensor R, and the positive, positive cone we consider. Then this has uh, two connected component, one P plus L, and uh, this is dis disjoint union, ah, uh, di disjoint union, anyway, P minus. So two connected component. Like this, and uh, on this on this uh, uh, cone, uh, while group act, WL is uh, group which is uh, generated by reflection. In uh, orthogonal group of L, and uh, this WL is act acts on PR, the situation like that. And uh, in this situation, we define the uh, leach root. We take R, and uh, this is minus two vector. This is the root. And the R, R is called leach root. If, uh, this number is equal to one. And uh, then,
This is called reach root. Row, I wrote here. Where vector? And then <coughs> we have the two uh, important facts. Fact is first. First one is this, uh, this uh, reach root correspond to, uh, with the element of reach vector. A uh, reach lattice like this. This is one to one correspondence delta. We said this is reach root like this. And uh, this goes to one minus one minus like this. This correspondence is one to one correspondence. And also, this is by Conway. We have, uh, we set C equal uh, like this, PL plus and uh, XR. We con consider such a domain. Uh, Like this, using reach, reach, uh, reach root, we define such uh, uh, domain. Then, C bar, this one is, fun, is a fundamental domain. Uh, ゼロワンゼロか。えっと、あ、これ逆にしないといけないか。失礼しました。そうかもしれません。<笑>ここなんか、私はよく間違える。<笑>どうして間違えるかというと、あの、Z プラスを左側に変えたり、右側にして変えたりするので<笑>、その分解の仕方によって違う。まあ、あんまり、あのこ、ここは今日は別に使わない。あ、そうか。I need to speak in English. <笑> So uh, it is not so important today. So, <laughs> so uh, C by is a fundamental domain of WL. The situation is like that. And now we use this fact to the lattice of K3 surface. And then uh, now we consider first X super singular K3 uh, with sigma invariant 1 uh, in characteristic 2, like this. And then Dolgashev and Kondo showed the following. And Kondo, he, there exists an embedding of SX in L, primitive embedding. And uh, this is, of course, Picard lattice. Primitive. Uh, so, how should I say? Uh, cannot. Kokanel uh, is so torsion free. <laughs> it's it's most easy to say. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, such that, such that. Uh, uh, perpendicular uh, space of SX is isomorphic to D4. This is uh, root, uh, D4 root lattice, like this. And also, the following, uh, PL plus, we can choose PL plus uh, as uh, this one contains P plus uh, SX. And this contains ample, ample divisor. Like that. Such embedding exists. And, and 
they also showed they also showed uh, fast uh, uh, fast we consider such a, a projection like this d4 this is s4 since this is uh, sx since this is primitive embedding, and uh, consider projection to here, H projection. We have a projection like this. Then this one is a very ample, very ample divisor with self-intersection number is 14, like this. And also, uh, second, uh, C, C is the, uh, how do I say, the domain which I defined there and consider intersection like this. Then this is a finite polyhedral cone. Cone. And uh, so, the, what is the face of this? Face. Faces. The first is uh, 42, two kind of faces exist. And the first one is 42 hyperplane for plane. Planes defined by, by uh, 42 42 minus 2 uh, vector in SX. This is one kind. And uh, the other one is six, uh, 168 hyperplane defined by 168 minus 4 vectors in S. Such faces they have. It has. Seven. Yeah. Why is all this number uh, divided by seven? I've never considered such. Number of P2 over F2. Number of P2 or number of P2 value of P2. It's also related. Really related. Afterwards, I, I will make a geometric construction of this. Yeah, that is one of my purpose. So like this, and uh, hmm. then anyway, uh, we consider 42 hyper planes defined by, and this is really uh, uh, this this is just delta intersect S X. So this is really Ricci root, and so. We examine the, that one, then first uh, take, take uh, uh, reach root from here, take one such uh, vector, then uh, by definition we have like this, uh, intersection with rho is equal to 1, and uh, we consider projection, then it goes to, we are, I, I, I wrote, I forgot, but somewhere, somewhere I wrote. Uh, projection of this to this space is H, so we have like this. And this is very ample. The situation is like this. And by uh, riemann rojo theorem and using easily, we, we may assume this one is uh, how we are it is. She is effective. 
and she is not so good, D. D is effective, not difficult to show using by Rimanov. So this, this means uh, by, the, by, by the embedding by this very ample vector, very ample divisor, uh, this, uh, this goes to line in, uh, uh, anyway. How should I say? Like this. This becomes a line. So you, ha you can find uh, 42 lines, lines on super singular K3 surface with RT invariant 1. And so, by considering intersection number of these 42 lines, uh, con again, Kondo Dolgashev result, Anyway, uh, X is super singular, K3, and uh, RT invariant 1, and uh, in characteristic 2. Then, uh, uh, these 40, 42 lines divided into two groups, that means A, B, disjoint. And these are disjoint curves, disjoint. Rational curve. Consists of disjoint rational curves. And this makes 21, this makes configuration of 21.5 configuration. This is uh, in a sense, very interesting because, uh, uh, anyway, on K3 surface, you have 21 rational curves, like this, and uh, this is A, and uh, also you have 21 rational curves in B, and which intersect, like this. And so, for example, if you uh, contract these 21 uh, rational curve, you get 21 rational singularity, 21 rational double point on K3. This is, of course, impossible in positive characteristic. Of course, this, uh, such, such uh, existence of such a uh, K3 with singularities are known, is known, but still, uh, by such a way, you can get rational uh, uh, K3 surface with 21 rational double points. This is very special phenomenon in characteristic two. And uh, so, the problem is, anyway, uh, lattice theoretically, you can get uh, 21.5 configuration but anyway, how is the, uh, one pro the first problem is how is the geometric realization? Of this. And uh, again, uh, the first, first, many, many way to construct such uh, 21.5 configurations. But the first one is uh, given by Kondo and uh, Dolgashev again, Dolgashev Kondo, <laughs> because DK. <laughs> he considers the following construction first, P2, F4. You consider such. So, and then, uh, as I said at the beginning of this talk, this has uh, Q square plus Q plus one rational point. And uh, so in this case, Q is equal to four. 
So this、uh, goes to 21. And、uh, this point is this. And、uh, <coughs> also, q square plus q plus 1 line is this. This is also 21. So, first consider、uh, P2 like this. And consider the following、uh, purely inseparable double covering, which is defined by z square equals x0, x1, x2. This is homogeneous co coordinate, of course, of this. And x0 cube, x1 cube, x3, x2 cube, like this. Then you get the K3 surface, this is K3, with 21 rational double points.、Uh, 21 uh, rational double point. points of type A2.、Uh, A1, excuse me. Like this. So, here, you,、uh, anyway, 21 point exist, and pass through line, and such, such line, 21 line exist, lines. And here, you, you have 21 rational double points, and so, finally, you get the resolution of this, resolution. So, you, you have 21 exceptional curves, curves and also、uh, 21 proper transform of these curves, and we set this one A and this one B, then this, this gives 21 file configuration. This is First con construction. And maybe this relates something <laughs> with the seven. <laughs> It may be. I'm not sure. But, okay. And then the second con construction is Mukai's <laughs> construction. Yeah. Can you、uh, say the thin line variant is equal to one? Yeah, yeah? only one. Yeah, that's it. 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 It becomes、uh, K3 surface、uh, with a l c h i n e variant one in characteristic two. Such characterization really exists. And uh, uh, this is also joint work with Droga Chef and Kondo. <laughs> and the second one is second one is、uh, Mukai's construction of. K3 surface with a l c h i n e invariant one, Mukai's I mean,、uh, we consider the following、uh, K3 surface uh, uh, like this, and also. Y1 This is, we consider this equation in P2 cross P2. And then this, this is really a super singular K3. Of course, in characteristic 2.、Uh, this becomes K3、uh, in any characteristic, but still, we. Insisting characteristic two. <laughs> and then uh, uh, here 
you will find uh, 21P1, I mean, if this, this coordinate is included in A0, A1, A2 is P2, F4, then uh, you, you, as a fiber, you will get 21 uh, P1. And also, if Y0, Y1, Y2 is included in P2, F4, then again, 21 P1 exists. And they, they are, uh, this 21 P1 is this disjoint with each other, and this also the same. So, uh, we have two families of rational curves like this, and this makes 21-5 configuration. This is the second one. And now, anyway, this is a, <coughs> a super singular K3 surface with RG invariant 1, so the it must be relate, it must relate with Abelian variety, Abelian surface. So that is a, our construction, uh, relation with Abelian surface. What is this? So, uh, if character, uh, we consider, let A be an Abelian surface, Again, iota is inversion. And uh, if characteristic is equal, is not equal to two, and A is super singular, super singular, and with arch invariant one, then, uh, uh, excuse me. Mm. Ah, sorry. <laughs> ah, first, we consider uh, K3 surface, K3 surface uh, with arch invariant 1, sigma equal 1, and uh, uh, if characteristic P is positive and P is not equal to 2, then, for this, there exists elliptic, super singular elliptic curve. And uh, such that this X is isomorphic to Kuma surface of product of these two elliptic curve. And this is really such a uh, K3 is unique. All these thing, animals are isomorphic to each other, so only one uh, super singular K3 with RG invariant 1, and uh, such one is constructed like this. But uh, if P is equal to 2, then uh, if A is super singular abelian surface, then the quotient of inversion, this becomes rational surface rational surface. So this is not K3 surface. So by this method, we cannot get the super singular K3 surface with RG invariant 1 uh, in characteristic 2. It, we cannot get by this way. So we consider the following super singular elliptic curve, which is unique in characteristic 2. This is only one super singular elliptic curve. This is super singular elliptic, in, of course, in characteristic two. Only one. And this has a following automorphism. The, uh, why is like this? And here, Zeta 3 is a primitive cube of unity. We consider such automorphism, 
And uh, then, fixed point of this automorphism, fixed point. is just equal to the rational point of F2, F2 rational point of this elliptic curve, and uh, this is part of uh, torsion point of order 3. And uh, this is, the number is equal to 3, F number of fixed point. And uh, then we consider product of two elliptic curve, and we consider quotient of sigma cross sigma square like this. Then this has nine rational points, points of type, uh, type, rational double points of course, type A2, such situation. And uh, the uh, resolution of this, we denote it by GMK a generalized Kuma surface like this, like this. Then this becomes a super singular K3 surface, super singular K3 with Alch invariant A1 in characteristic 3. By this, we get such elliptic curve. And then we consider the following. Yeah? Ah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Finally, I want to talk in characteristic three, so. <laughs> I said three. <laughs> Five minutes, so. Like this. Then, uh, we consider the following. Uh, 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 so, anyway. You, you consider product of two empty car and, uh, and first blowing up at uh, uh, nine fixed point. Uh, so, look at this. This is this is the fixed point of uh, sigma plus sigma square. This is nine point exists. And uh, blowing up these nine point, and then it, we consider like this. And anyway, here you have product elliptic curve like this. So we consider uh, four elliptic curve. The first one is this, and the second one is like this, and the third one is like this, and the fourth one is like this. I don't want to talk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> precise definition of this elliptic curve, but anyway, the shape is like this. And also, you consider elliptic curve like this, four elliptic curve like this. And here, you will <coughs> nine fixed point like this. And so, uh, this, here you have eight, eight elliptic curves. And you transform this elliptic curve to each, uh, translate these eight elliptic curves uh, to, to the, these, uh, to these nine points. And finally, anyway, one elliptic curve contains, uh, three, three points here. So the number of elliptic curve which you get is eight cross, eight cross nine divided by three and 24 elliptic curve you get. And so first you blowing up then at this point, then it becomes like this. Ah uh, no. Blowing up, then it goes to like this. Four, like this. At this point. And and then you blowing up these two points. These two points, then you get to uh, here. Uh, uh, like this, like this, you blowing up these two points, then you get this. Then this 
curves become the minus one curve, so blow down, then you get the generalized Kumba surface here, like this. And here, uh, the curve is, so it becomes like this. And these two are exceptional curves. And these, these curves become the P1, which comes from elliptic curve. So elliptic curve are classified into two groups, such group and such group, and which does not intersect each other. And exceptional curve, two exceptional curves also uh, divided into two groups, and to these four curves, this curve include, and for these two curves, uh, this curve include, then you get two group of 12, 12 elliptic curve, uh, rational curve, which comes from elliptic, and uh, 18 exceptional curves, and so you get the 21 curve and the 21 curve, and these two families give the uh, 21 five. This is a, how, how do I say it? visual visual construction of such 21 five configuration. And finally, I have two minutes or so. In how is uh, in characteristic three? Characteristic three, then, uh, anyway, uh, in characteristic three, uh, for super singular K3 surface with RG invariant one, it is written as Kuma surface of super singular elliptic curve, as I said before, like this, anyway, construction. E super singular. Like this. And on this, uh, 100. 112 reach roots, roots exist, this is a reach root. This is a minus two curve, and, and uh, 5,500 for this minus, minus six curve vector, and 648 minus 12 vector. These are, uh, these give the faces of fundamental domain. This, this becomes the faces. And uh, for this, uh, you have three groups. These curves uh, goes to, um, are divided into three groups. One is uh, uh, three groups. I mean uh, 16, 16, 18. And these 16 curves come from uh, exceptional curve, exceptional curves. And these 16 comes from curves of genus 4 on Abelian surface. Of genus four. four, and uh, from until here I could prove it, prove this, and uh, these two sixteen curves give the sixteen ten configuration. Usually for Kuma surface sixteen uh, sixteen six configuration using genus two curve, as I said in the beginning. Anyway, like this. But uh, in this case, 1610 configuration we can construct. And uh, I don't yet completely prove, prove that part, but uh, uh, this part, 18 will be come from elliptic curve, almost finished to prove, but uh, I cannot uh, finish it. This will come elliptic curve on Avalian surface. The situation is like this. And also, this, this one relates to uh, Fermat hypersurface, which is defined by X0P by this form. P plus, this is really uh, isomorphic to Fermat hypersurface over F, 
P square. This is in P san. This is over FP square. This is isomorphic to uh, Fermat. Isomorphic to Fermat of degree P plus one. And not isomorphic to over FP, not isomorphic. So over this. And uh, on this surface, uh, you will ha find uh, uh, P square plus P square plus P plus one uh, rational points points over FP and uh, the same number of lines over FP. Th so using this by blowing up you will get and uh, uh, one point you will find P plus one rational curves over FP. So you will get P3 plus P2, P, P22 plus P plus one, P plus one configuration. And also over FP square, over FP square, uh, you will find uh, P square plus one, uh, uh, P cube plus one, P square plus one, rational points, and P square plus one, P plus one uh, lines. So uh, this this time this and this are not equal. So uh, we get the P square plus one, P square plus one, P plus one. P square plus one, P plus one, uh, uh, P square plus one, uh, P plus one, uh, P plus one, uh, P, P square plus one. The number is different. Uh, such configuration you get. And uh, in case of P is three, then as, as it's easy to show, this surface is K3 surface because degree 4 and sigma invariant is equal to 1. So since the such surface is unique, so this surface S is isomorphic to this surface is isomorphic to the original K3 surface like this. And so here you will find using this uh, to over FP over FP9 uh, this P square plus one, P plus one is equal to just 112, which is just equal to the number of this reach root. And this surface is really interesting because anyway, 112 line exists on this surface. And if you fix one line, and, if the, and consider left shaped pencil, and if you turn left shaped pencil, uh, which, whose axis is, axis is here, then if the surface becomes tangent, then P, uh, so P plus one is equal to now four, so you will find four, uh, 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 including this, so in total four line appears, so uh, curve split to four line, and such, so if you turn like this, so over P1, you will get such vibration. And so if you turn the hyper surface, you will get two, ten, 10 such degenerate fiber. And general fiber is quasi-elliptic. Quasi-elliptic vibration of like this. And considering this vibration, then uh, by just calculation, 81 sections exist. And uh, since the quasi-elliptic surface is general fiber is GA plus cusp, so the structure of this is just equal to isomorphic to Z over 3, 4 times of Z over 3. The structure is like that. I'm sorry, slightly longer. <laughs>
Uh, so anyway, unique, it's unique, so. Uh, it's unique. Even in characteristic two. Anyway, uh, if the sigma invariant sigma, uh, is sigma, then the uh, modulus is sigma minus one. Modulus of super singular case surface. Yeah. So just how to construct, it's a problem. <laughs> Ah, so if sigma is equal to, it's again a uh, Kuma surface. If sigma is equal to two, then you consider two super singular pick up and divided by alpha p, and uh, we consider suitable direction, which is not product. Then considering Kuma, then this becomes sigma two. And this has one dimensional moduli, which correspond to the direction of alpha p. And if sigma is larger than three, then the structure is very difficult. So one way is you consider covering of p2. Sometimes you succeed by this way, but in general, very, very difficult to construct such. Or consider uh, elliptic surface structure, then sometimes you get, but uh, to determine all, it's a rather difficult problem. If P uh, characteristic is greater than three, then it, it will be very difficult. So for higher RT invariant case, kind of descrip description using uh, rich lattice. Yeah. In some cases possible, and some cases maybe more complicated, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So for example, sigma invariant is equal to two. Yeah. Uh, so that is a different problem. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, Dolgashev and Kondo gives one embedding uh, in the case of sigma invariant one, but two or three or something will be different problem. So <coughs> suitable embedding exists or not, uh, I don't know. Any further question? Okay, let's thank the speaker again. So, uh, yeah, final talk will be on time, so in 20 minutes. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 5 p.m., yeah. In, in 20 minutes, yeah, we have, we'll have a 20 minute break.